Speaking of groundwater, most people usually think about aquifers, which are underground layers that store and move water. But there's another layer that rarely gets attention and quietly controls how groundwater behaves. These layers are called aquitards. Made of clay, silt, and fine sediments, aquitards sit above, below, or between aquifers. They're often described as barriers, but that's only partly true. Research highlighted in a guest editorial published in Groundwater explains that aquitards are rarely uniform. Many contain cracks or thin sandy layers that allow some water and contamination to move through them. Some scientists even use the term aquitardifer to describe formations that block water in one direction but transmit it in another. This complexity matters. If aquitards are oversimplified, water managers can misjudge how pumping affects nearby wells, how fast contaminants spread, or how long recharge takes. Aquitards also influence drinking water quality by affecting levels of substances like arsenic or nitrate. And when groundwater is pumped, these fine-grained layers can compact, causing land subsidence that damages roads, pipelines, and buildings. The key takeaway is simple. Aquitards are not passive layers. They actively shape groundwater flow, water quality, and land stability. And understanding them is becoming more important as water stress increases across the West.